Lily, can you read a variation from Pledge and just comment briefly on how any of these general ideas uh, bear out in that? Definitely. Um, okay, the, I'm reading the second stanza if you're following along at home. Hi, Pledge, a lesion, to death egg. Oft die, unitely stains of a miracle. And too deep repugnant for withered spans, wan etching, unnerved dog, in, inapplicable with liver tea and justice for all. Um, what do you say about that? <laughs> I think as a as a American person who went to public school and said the Pledge of Allegiance every day, it's hard to read um, the poem the way that it's written as a homophonic translation because um, I uh, just like my lizard brain or whatever just wants to say the Pledge of Allegiance because I know that much better than what I'm reading. So it feels actually very unnatural to read it in a, in a very effective way, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Jess, can you pick out a variation and read it and comment? Sure. Um, I've selected 13. My friend Stephen, tofuti bag over mitt lighted stinks of a measuring cup, and tutoring Bobby for 50 claims, one eggplant, undercooked and uneatable, with liverwurst and just this for all. What do you think? Um, well, um, I have to say the word tofuti kind of drew me in there. Um, <laughs> you had me at tofuti. It, it, yes, it had me at Tofuti. And I liked the way that this particular iteration was sort of like, um, like leaning into the, um, the feminized vocabulary of the domestic, um, which of course is like very enmeshed in like patriotism, you know, and discourses of, of patriotism. But yet both of those things are like rendered completely unrecognizable here. And like the processed, imitation non-dairy ice cream product that is tofuti, you know, sort of like wonderfully um, concretizes, you know, like what's what's being done. I love <laughs> the Thanks. translated the translated dairy dessert, if you will. <laughs> that's great. Um, that's what you said was in the spirit of Flarf, you know, and we won't go into defining Flarf, but it's easy, easily defined in the course and you can get there. Um, Allie, what's your choice and what would you say about it? My choice was going to be 13 as well, <laughs> um, but I can talk about one. First, just with, with 13, um, just the way that it reduces the grandeur of what you think the Pledge of Allegiance is talking about is so wonderful uh, and kind of, kind of subversive. Um, it's this kind of gross to me, seeming meal uh, that's being concocted. Um, so that's that's good. But I also like how um, just kind of addressing what Lily's saying, whereas like if you know the Pledge of Allegiance, it's so hard to get your mind away from that. And I do think that Mike McGee kind of um, progresses this poem in a way where it's the straightest homophonic translation in stanza one, I plug elegance to the frag of Dionysus states of America in tune theory public for widgets hands one day shun on dirge odd ring the busy bell with lip hurting and justice for all. Mm. Um, so we kind of in that, in that stanza, we can kind of do both things at once. Like we're kind of still saying um, the Pledge of Allegiance while just seeing these other words with our eyes. And it, that's a kind of almost like massaging so that by the time that you get to 2, 13 and 16, we're ready to kind of get into the flarf and silliness of fun of it and kind of leave the Pledge of Allegiance behind. Fantastic, thank you all.